Okay. Let's see. Woo! It's all ready. It stayed in place. Carnivore Girls Creative Carnivore Kitchen. No plants. No dairy. The next level cooking show. Carnivore recipes with meat, fish, seafood, eggs, gelatin, flavored seltzer, water and salt. From super easy to complicated. From quickly done to many hours in the kitchen. I always say everybody's body and brain are different and you gotta figure out what works best for you. The carnivore lifestyle has tremendous benefits, healing effects and is the best elimination diet. There are many different ways how to do carnivore. I found a way that momentarily works the best for me. In this cooking show, I'll show you it doesn't have to be boring and can be very creative, delicious and fun. I already created so many carnivore recipes on Instagram, at Carnivore Girl. And I have this never-ending list on my phone with tons of ideas. My brain is a gift and a curse. Have fun with this episode! carnivore kitchen um yeah well that is not my kitchen of course carnivore girl here but i am in carmel california right now so this is a special of course and i want to make some food carmel here oh it smells so good like um the sea salt and fish so i had the idea i usually always torture steak right steak sashimi let's do steak sashimi okay so we went to a fish market well we went to several fish markets but so i had the idea or to get some raw fish and seafood to make some sashimi so i asked him to for i think one big scallop a little bit of um, salmon and uh, chilean sea bass ahi tuna and um, unfortunately they didn't have calamari otherwise i love raw calamari but so i got like little pieces and um where we're staying at home we uh i cut the i tried to cut it a little bit in thinner slices then i froze it because when i eat seafood meat whatever when i eat raw i like to freeze it first because for some reason I tolerate it better um, so I froze it yesterday and today I took it out of the freezer and of course it was still totally frozen and so we defrosted it in a super cool way so here is the sashimi it's still frozen and I want to defrost it so here the car I don't think that's warm enough here. I'm closing it. Oh, okay. Okay, it's been 25 minutes now and it's still really frozen. I'm trying to take the pieces apart so it goes a bit faster. Oh, that one is, it is working. It is just taking quite a while. We also turned the, um, turned off the engine. So the, uh, 
fan was off and just the heat was there. But it is working just slowly. Okay, so we are actually driving around with the fish in there defrosting because I'm trying to post something on Instagram and I have barely any service so we're driving back to the house where I have Wi-Fi and where it just po should post faster so um, yeah I hope the fish will Survives. still be good <laughs> yeah okay let's see Woo! it's already it stayed in place Okay, it's almost defrosted, so we're going to take it down to the beach now. It took us uh, about 52 minutes. Well, also, the car wasn't really hot. Um, so if we would have driven around with the car uh, for a while and then do that right away, the car would have been much hotter. But so what we did is um, we just stayed in the car and sometimes we turned on the engine, let it run for a little bit turned it off and so the fan is off so the heat build builds up so but well that's a way to defrost your food and so here we put it on the air filter and that one here we put on the battery here okay off we go to the beach Wobbly, just so you know. Stupid fucking fish. Okay, you go over first, and then I throw you the I fish. I want to step on the bug. <laughs> <laughs> now you need to get the fish. Oh look, there's this to hold. Yeah. We just found this. We can hold on to. Oh my gosh, I can even hold on with two fingers and I'm holding the camera here. Ugh. Ugh. I have to slide the fingers. Okay, here, get the fish. Got it. Okay. Now we can... Well, that's one you, you fell off. That one is... kind of weird, but... Ugh. Okay. Okay. So we realize there's a cord we can actually hold to on to to get past this. Okay. Let's continue. <laughs> we almost made it. I see it. Sand. sashimi stuff um, and it looks good now I think we defrosted it okay so right now 
I don't need that because, well, it's ready, sashimi, raw fish, raw seafood. Food. Let's just put that over here where the ants are and let's hope there's still some left. And I brought a super nice, this looks so nice, a super nice ribeye a survival knife. Always take that with me on our trips. Super cool knife. So let's open this. Look at this beautiful ribeye. So I defrosted that. Ooh, I packed that up good. I didn't know. Oh my gosh. Okay, we need to take that up. The ants will be happy. All that juice. So now look at this beautiful ribeye. This is what I love. So the ribeye, the eye, it's actually really, really small, like barely, and it's, it's uh, like uh, mar marbled, like here, this is so, and then you have the cap, my favorite part, and well, this is the tail, yeah, it's a little bit, it looks really square, okay. usually they're a bit more, well, yeah, turned out square, well, beautiful ribeye here, So I also brought a damp towel. And now I always bring this, this little um, salt, pure salt, just pink Hawaiian, no, not Hawaiian, Himalayan, Himalayan sea salt. Ooh, salt. Let's get torching. Usually, I don't just torch somehow. I torch the eye first, where it's the least fatty. Then I torch the um, cap and the sides, and at the end, the, um, the tail. At the end, the fun part, the fat. just try to get it warm and then keep torching it I like my steak still raw in the middle so I go really close and I just stay at the point so it gets brown and here and here so it doesn't get too much done Ooh, beautiful this side yeah other side yeah this is the way if you don't wanna if you want it torch more well done you would do this I don't want mine too much done, so let's do it for real. Now, well, easy part. Now we just put the raw fish on it, so what do I have here? Uh, let's start. Ooh, raw Chilean sea bass. Ooh, so People good. Are coming. And then we have some sa salmon, king salmon, by the way. This is king salmon, not just salmon. Put some king salmon on. Ooh, nice. Ooh. Ooh, and then we have. Where is it? 
these are oh yes these are the cheeks halibut cheeks oh so actually it's one cheek i bought one cheek and i tried to like cut some thin pieces oh halibut cheeks and of course some ahi tuna And where's my favorite? Uh, we have something more scallops. As there was one big scallop, got some pieces. Let's put the scallop here. And so just put on whatever you want. Steak sashimi. Sashimi steak. Whatever. So uh, you can also cut cut it first, so then it will be easier to eat. So let's cut some slices and then put the sashimi on top. Ooh, that knife cuts well. And I cut these and in stripes of so more salt. Uh, I have a lot of the raw fish and scallop. So, ooh, now let's try this. Aguita. Which one? So. favorite surf and turf the surf raw mm. and a scallop I'll take some of the scallop here mm. so good look at that view Just a piece of fish. Here, a piece of um, halibut cheek. So, so good. Super easy. Cool. I like that. Servus. Thanks for watching! If you try out this recipe, please tag me and let me know how you like it. Subscribe, share, like, comment, follow me on Instagram, at Carnivore Girl. See you next week in my next episode of Carnivore Girl's Creative Carnivore Kitchen. No plants, no dairy, the next level cooking show.